be checking your vitals as usual. Do you remember me? How lovely. It's nice to be remembered every once in a while. Hmm. Uh, so, let's get started. You look tired. You shouldn't say that to someone. It's been a very long year. Ugh. I've had such a long month preparing for everything that's about to happen and more. Look here. Follow. Good. Look here. Good. Here. Focus, keep focus. 
And now You seem a bit distracted Not that I blame you But I have to make sure you can follow directions Look here Come on There you go There you go How many fingers am I holding up? Good 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 You can count <sighs> You have a couple big events coming up for you, and um, I've just been a little stressed, I guess. Sometimes I wonder why I keep this job. Miss Ezra has been asking me if I'd like to become a familiar, and I told her no. Time and time again. She's been a little insistent lately. <sighs> Margot's been a little unhinged, as her usual, and I just have to deal with it, I guess. Like always. You know, Edie, I heard you've been having dreams lately of the ocean. And you've been telling people about these dreams. Just interesting. I know Edie pretty well. <sighs> She's always up to something. Margo. Ideas of grandeur and all that. <sighs> Keeps talking about how She's going to turn me. Fortunately for me, if that happens, well, someone's getting their head taken off. And the witches are in town. Mm -hmm. They're named after roses. I think their names were Briar and Prem, if I'm correct. Briar and Prim. Well, I remembered it because Briar Rose and Prim Rose. Mm-hmm. Twins. No, I'm just a little distracted. Not too excited to be uh, doing this this time. Just a little tired, is all. I don't think my body's made to be a night owl. And sometimes I have nights where I'm up the whole time. Then during the day I'm running around, being a personal assistant, all that, and getting permits for things, hotels, little houses, Tinted window shops Ice cream places Those are the fun ones The ones you'd least expect But Someone has a sweet tooth for high blood sugar So What can you do? The last month I've been running around getting this Ridiculous list for the witches too Things I've never even heard of. Warlock weed or hemlock. Angelica root, 
nettle, elder flowers, willow bark, wormwood, wormwood flowers, coconut oil, colivar beans, <sighs> roses. Oh, that's right. Uh, they told me until their proceedings to keep a light candle wit, uh, lit in your room. So, we're gonna do that. They said it was to, and I quote, avoid the wrath of all of the ancestors. Or, well, maybe that's not exactly what they said. Maybe there are some spirits floating around here that don't want you to be protected. Set that up straight. Then we're going to light the wick. Don't worry, we're going to do our usual vital check in and adjustment of your medications. Why did they give me this job? There we go. Nice and lit. <laughs> I'm not as much fun. They're gonna give me a thicker candle. <sighs> so we will leave that right here. And to buy a whole stack of these candles. <sighs> yeah, well, you know us, always prepared. Maybe it's later than I thought. Sounds like some of the younger ones are running on the roof. <sighs> of course they are. <sighs> they keep knocking the shingles off. I've had a lot of roof repairmen here lately, so. So, let's feel let's feel around you have a couple bruises I can see let's see huh. where did this one come from of course you don't know that doesn't look like something Ezra would do hmm Or Marco. Has anyone else been feeding on you? Hmm. 
I'm gonna make a note of that. Is that tender? Hmm. I guess that makes sense. That's okay. Don't worry. We're gonna take care of you, okay? I'm gonna touch you right here. I have a couple new things I'd like you to try. Um, I am going to increase the iron levels. Uh, there are a few supplements the witches gave me that just told me to, they just told me to give it to you. Yeah. Do I know anything? Well, it appears you're well, I can't really say appears. We uh, had some results come back for your specific bloodline, and way down the line with the whole Dracula business, uh, you know, that a certain someone made a deal with a certain coven that said, please protect my children, or cousins, or I don't know, nephews, whatever, um, from the supernatural, and there's a heavy price to pay, and you are a descendant of that line. You cannot be killed by supernatural beings, entities, the fae running around, which honestly, I'd say keep it. Pass that bloodline on, you know? Having a spell on your blood seems awfully handy, useful. I wish I had that. Unfortunately, there are no other magical properties uh, in you. You could never learn magic. You could never summon anything, go anywhere if you believe in that. Personally, I would like to not, but considering I work for a vampire who is, I have no idea how old she is. <laughs> yeah, curious, isn't it? Well, they're trying to break the curse, as Ezra calls it. Um, Briar has been calling it a blessing and has been arguing with her nonstop since she got here. Margot says it's well and good fun and would love to keep you as a plaything. She... That's our Marco. Edie has thought it's extremely interesting, thinks we shouldn't turn you, and wants to keep your bloodline going and keep your bloodline strong, but she also did entertain the idea of <clears throat> what would happen if they were dropped off of a roof by us? Would the fall be supernatural because we dropped them, or <laughs> because they hit the pavement and died? Would they just die? 
So, a moment of science, I guess. <laughs> I can never quite um, piece her together. So, yeah. <sighs> Sometimes I think that she is working and working for the best interest of herself and her own curiosities. Not really the house. Her and um, Ezra are good friends. I don't really know if I would consider Edie someone that considers herself a member under Ezra just because of their history. If I recall correctly, I think no, I shouldn't repeat any any of their histories. Never mind. I think part of the reason I am saying these things is because you probably won't remember this conversation. I'm sure someone is going to come in and hypnotize or compel you to forget these things. And I kind of hope that you remember our little conversations if you do get turned. That would be nice. I am just looking out for you. Anyway. I have a new vitamin pill medicine cocktail for you. I'm going to leave right here. A little extra melatonin and, well, a few other things to calm Ezra's nerves and all that good stuff. I have your white candle burning. Um, this should burn for about, I'd say, eight hours, and then I will be back. You know, you're doing a good job. You're doing the best you can, sitting in this room, going to the little extracurriculars everyone has set up for you. I think you deserve your own choice. I also think that if you asked Ezra to make your own decision, she'd probably be okay with that. You just need to ask. As always, it was a pleasure talking to you. I hope you'll excuse me of how tired I've been today, but sometimes I don't mind how tired I am, and I think that you guys don't remember anyway, so. You can go back to closing your eyes, lying on your bed, baking out wood for your coffin, whatever you want to do. Yeah. Well, I will see you later, and good luck. If you do live forever, I hope you remember me as a person that was human at the same time that you were human. I, as I've expressed before, I really have no interest in eternity. I'd like to I'd like to certainly live out my life here as comfortably as I can. I'd like to grow old. I'd like to, I guess, die and see what's after all this, you know. If there is anything, of course. The idea of being alive forever is interesting. Seemingly fun. And I do think about it, because I kind of do have that choice, but 
I think life is really beautiful, you know? Aging is beautiful and I'm excited for it. So, good luck. And I hope I get to live on in your memory. Well, that's all for me. I'm gonna set the candle right over there for you, okay?